Beware of the one point win. We have a tendency to analyze every loss that we have in life. Going back to basketball analogies, if you lose a game by one point, you'd spend a week analyzing every little minutia of the game, what went wrong, what went right, what could have been improved, how you could have won. But the irony is that sometimes when we have a one point win, when something just works out okay, when something just clears through, when something just clears the hurdle, we don't analyze it at all. We'll say, well, who cares? We won. And it's an error to take this approach in things. It's okay to be happy that we won, but we really need to separate the analysis from the outcome in many situations. We shouldn't be down on ourselves and treat everything like it's a loss, but be just as critical, just as analytical of our actions, of our behaviors, of what could have been improved as if we had lost. And so what were the areas of deficiency? What were the areas of strength? And again, even if it was a losing situation or something didn't turn out well, there are still strengths that can be extracted from those and expanded upon in future iterations of business. I've heard the saying, and it's often true, that the biggest failures we have in life oftentimes come right after the biggest victories. And part of that's because people tend to rest on their laurels. They tend to think they have the Midas touch of sorts or think that they may be infallible. Right? That's the Icarus hubris flying too close to the sun. But the converse is also true, that some of our greatest victories in life come after our biggest failures. And if you really think about the periods in life of the most accelerated progression that you've had in terms of skills, and I can say for myself in terms of abilities, capacity growth, and aptitude in many ways, it's been after the hardest times, because that's when you're the most critical of yourself, you're the most deliberate in your actions, the most unlikely to take days off, to get lazy in any regards. So I try to use this as a leveling sort in life. I forget which movie it came from. When things are up, you never think they're going to go down. When things are down, you never think they're going to go up. But if at any point you hit a high, you say, listen, it's going to kind of revert back to a mean at some point, then it keeps you in check. If you say when you're at a low, well, this will get better. Any movement to the positive will be improvement, then you won't get so down. And so if you don't get so high in the highs, if you don't get so down in the downs, you tend to be a leveling effect and things will revert to a mean, but that mean should be an ever-growing whether linear or in lockstep mean towards future progress and future abilities. So that's the thought for today. Be aware of the one point win. Be agnostic of the outcome sometimes when you're analyzing the behaviors, both good and bad, of you and your business, as we do with our business on a day-to-day -day basis. Hope the week's going well. Keep pushing forward. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.